one of you grab hold of the end, you pull it that way, and I push it down, okay? And that is your plan. So really, you've got the, got the most magnificent um, item, which is a, a question mark one. Yeah. You know, it's one of these things which is not clear to the children. It is a device for setting a machine. Setting machine? Yeah, something like so. I can't imagine what kind of machine it might be. Something agricultural. What I found very useful is the equivalent modern day object. You see, you know, that's one that I've also found very fascinating. And then um, whether or not it's practical, because, I mean, yeah, when you bear in mind, it's quite a bulky coat if you visit the size of it. Yeah, so it must have been quite a snug fit. Yeah. <laughs> what would you put in such large pockets? They, well, the pockets are actually for um, escape maps. Um, this, well, this particular one doesn't have, but some of them, you would actually have the pockets sewed out of uh, silk. You would have the map of an area of France. Now, you as if you're shot down an area, you can tear that piece out of the jacket and then use it to get around. Putting them in a similar situation in a modern time. Yes. So you have to leave home now and you yes. have a suitcase this week. Mm -hmm. What are you going to pack in it? And what are your prized possessions? Each of you is going to be a person who at some point would have touched that object in the story between it being first created to it ending up at the museum. So pass the object round, have a good look at it and start to think about what person are you going to be? I'm going to be the person that drank the lovely ginger beer oh. on a hot summer's day. Oh. I'm going to be uh, Malcolm White, the grandson of Mr. Arwen. <laughs> <laughs> he gets all the money. Uh,